Hey, Jay's Tunnel here. Look what we got today. The spider crab. Yes. It's kind of moving a little slow today. But man, I had to show you all this. Uh, I don't see these um, all that often washed up on the beach. Now you can find these like in the estuaries, uh, especially when they're smaller, they like to grow up in the seagrass beds. Um, and then as adults, they kind of, they like the sandy areas. Uh, they do feed on, you know, small, small animals uh, that are in the uh, environment, in, in the water. Uh, and you can eat these. So some people eat these spider crabs. You can kind of guess why they got their name, right? Look at this. Because they look like a spider. Awesome. They got some crazy mouth parts. We actually have two species here in the Gulf of Mexico. Um, we've got, let's see, one is called the long nose. And then one is, what's the name of that? I can't remember what the name of the other one is. Um, but I know, we, I know we have two species and I'm kind of in the middle of nowhere. So I can't really look that up right now, but y'all look up spider crabs and you'll be able to see these cool animals. Now look at the carapace here. It's got all these spikes on it. So you might think, man, what could eat these things? Well, uh, squid, uh, octopus, actually not squid, but octopus, octopus like to eat these. Um, there's probably some fish species too, you know, with all crabs, um, like the black drum and stuff like that. They can, especially if there's smaller ones, uh, they don't mind those spikes. They can just crush all that stuff up. But uh, these can be found Atlantic, Gulf, uh, even down into the Caribbean and Cuba, you know, Bahamas, those kind of areas. Uh, real cool. Okay, well, I'm going to let this guy go. I'm going to go put him uh, back in the water and we'll let him live another day. We're not going to eat this one. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye.